What's up, YouTube? It's Chris T with Me Petites, and it's that time of year again, y'all. We got the holiday seasons going on. And I remember last year, I taught y'all how to inject the turkey, but well, this year we're gonna do a little bit bigger, a little bit more in depth. So this year, I'm gonna teach y'all step by step how to inject your turkey in order to deep fry it. Let's get into it. All right, so this is what I'm using, guys. I picked this up from Walmart. It's just the poultry season. But right now, I'm just gonna mash it up. Try to get it. You wanna get it to it's like a paste, paste-like. Throw a little seasoning in there. Not a lot. It might look like a lot, but it's not. You gotta get everything up in there. Might just put a little bit more. Cause like I said, it all depends on the size of the turkey. It just depends on the size of the size of your bird, man. Now is the point where I put my apple cider vinegar in the inside and on the outside of the turkey. So I take this, pour apple cider vinegar on the inside of it, and just kind of use my hands to kind of just, you know, get in there and kind of rub it in a little bit. And I'm still gonna rinse it, rinse it out again. Just pretty much taking a bath, man. Just sanitizing. This is something that I do. I don't know about everybody else, but in my household, we clean meat. We have a side of bedding. So, that's what we do. All right, so the next step in this, we gotta make sure that we dry turkey. So I do, I take some paper towel, get a lot of it. Kind of get a little, pat it down a little bit. Give it a little pat down on the inside and the outside. And um, so the thing, the reason why, and this is something that you're gonna have to do throughout the whole entire process. So the reason why we do this, the reason why I do this, and why a lot of you should do this, is because when you uh, mix water and oil, especially when you're deep frying something, that's your re that's definitely a recipe for disaster. So you wanna make sure that your turkey is dry. Once I'm done with everything, I have to sit the turkey like completely, like standing up in order for that water to kind of drain itself downward. And um, yeah, that's how we pretty much have to go from there. So you wanna make sure, like I said, make, make sure that you pat it inside in and out, get the crevices real good because that's where a lot of your water and everything is going to be. So try to get it as dry as possible. All right, so guys, now I'm gonna put in my teats turkey butter. Um, so for this, I made sure that I changed my gloves out and everything, brand new gloves. Um, so basically what I do is I take the flap of the skin of the bird 
<clears throat> I just kind of work a butter knife with the, the butter and the inside certain parts. So don't worry about ripping your, your turkey or anything like that because this skin expands. See, I just put my finger in it and it just kind of moves around. So I kind of take this, spread that in there, hold it, just kind of move it around. So it's like between the skin and the flesh. Yeah, so it's between the skin and the flesh. And what this does is it kind of penetrates into your meat, everything, get that good seasoning flowing into your meat, man. It's going to be amazing. So. Get some more and just work your way around the whole turkey, you know. Don't be afraid of it. All right, guys. So now that we got the turkey all cleaned up, now that we added the apple cider vinegar to it to clean it up, now that we cleaned out the crevice, now that we seasoned the crevice, now that we added the, the turkey butter, it's time. We getting ready to inject the turkey. So the first step, uh, what you wanna do is when you get your um, injection kit, whichever kit it is, you get your syringe ready. Um, the Tony's injection kit that I get comes with a syringe. <clears throat> um, so what you have to do is you have to put it together. Make sure you don't pull it out too fast because the needle sits right in there. So just pull it out slowly. Grab the needle and install it. Just push it in here. You have your syringe ready to not contaminate anything like that. I put my marinade into a glass, a mason jar, and I could just extract from there. So you wanna get every spot. So typically what I do is I go all four corners, maybe five, poke a few holes in there. I wouldn't just say four. It's just I, I typically poke a few holes in the breast area, and get the legs, get the wings, get the thighs area right up in here and get all that. And sometimes I flip it over, get the back part as well. So, and when you injecting, you kind of see how it swells up. There's, there's no right or wrong way. Um, there's no right or wrong way to inject your turkey. I mean, if you are like puncturing it fully through, then yeah, I mean, that's the wrong way. But as far as the quantity of marinade, it's not really no right or wrong way. But you do want to make sure you put it in all the areas that, that matters most, you know? Like how I go in at an angle. I know it's a leg, so. And like I said, once again, it may look like it's a lot of seasoning, but once you get to rubbing it, and it's really not a lot. One, one hand for seasoning, the other one for rubbing. <clears throat> okay guys, so I realized I didn't close this video out. So after you season your turkey, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you're standing the turkey completely up. Um, in order to do this, you have to get like a turkey stand and kind of, or any type of um, 
object that's standing upright and that's strong enough to hold your turkey up. Um, the reason why we're doing this is because you want to make sure that all the water that's within the turkey drains itself out. And so in this situation, this is two days prior to Thanksgiving. So it's Tuesday now, and we're going to pull the turkey out and make sure that it's dry, completely dry before we deep fry it. The reason why you want it to be dry when it's prior to deep frying is because um, you don't want any type of accidents. One, water and oil don't mix, and it would just create a complete disaster, <laughs> to say the least. Once you stand your turkey up, uh, you want to make sure that you cover it well, real good. I use aluminum foil, and yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much it, you guys. You guys, be safe. And once again, and once again, thank you for watching. And this is uh, Chris Teat on behalf of me, Teats, and I'll catch up with y'all later. Happy holidays. Peace.